Welcome back to the Three Bourbon Years. Taylor is uh, played volleyball tonight, so he is covered in sand. It was sand. 98 degrees outside. <laughs> That's not a joke. It was actually 98 degrees outside. Uh, so. Again, two of us this week. Mitch is on vacation. For the third time this year. For the third time this year. Had a kid. He's just never showing up anymore. We're thinking about actually kicking him off the... Two bourbon ears. The, the two bourbon ears. Uh, anyways. <laughs> this no, he's the life of the party. We can never <laughs> yeah, I know. This week we have uh, Blade and Bow by Stutzel Weller. Yeah. Legendary distillery that closed down at some point, what, in like the late 90s, early 2000s or something. Something like that. And uh, was bought out. Now they're doing this stuff again. And Blade and Bow, I think, is one of like their flag flagship. Flagship uh, brands. Bourbons, yeah, right? Bourbons. Um, uh, they do a little uh, key on it, you know, the whole gimmick thing. We did open it and try it a few months back. Yeah, I can't remember. It was a while ago. I don't remember anything about this bottle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> always prepared. Here we always are. prepared. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, Stitzel Weller Distilling, obviously. Um, I think they're in Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky, yep, yep you got it. Uh, this one's 45.5% or 91 proof. Historically um, not a bourbon year's favorite being like low 90s, but we'll give it a shot. Yeah, we'll yeah. give it a shot because this is trying to hang out with your uh, Blantons and your Eagle Rares, things like that, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, you can find much, it everywhere though. Yeah, how much did you pay for it? This was like 40, I think it was 46, 46 bucks. bucks. Yeah. 46 so. Bones. We'll find Buckaroos. out. We'll find out if you should be buying it or not. This has been recommended by a few people on on in the comments on has our it? channel. Though. Yeah. Okay. So well, they'll be happy to to hear. We'll see what happens. Uh, will he finish his pouring? Please comment on our videos. Give our channel a follow. Follow us on Instagram. Like. Do all that good stuff. We want to hear from you. We are slowly developing a little community. We've met some really awesome guys um, through our channel. And yeah. Just want to get you involved. So if you want to trade, if you want to try stuff we're trying, if you want to see what we can find up in the Midwest versus maybe something you're looking at down south or out west, uh, reach out. Yeah, let us so, know. Yeah. So, all right, let's dig into it. All right. Immediately, you know, can tell very light in color. Straw, straw gold, which tells us it's young, right? I mean, that's a yep. telltale sign. Possibly. Possibly. Um, not super oily. There's some decent legs there. I'm going in, going in the nose. Yeah, man. Very light. Very light. Very light orchard fruits. Um, crisp apples. Crisp, yeah, yeah, apples. A little, a little hay. Well, there's a little farmy yeah, hay little, there. A little barnyard. A little barnyard fun. A little barnyard fun in there. Um, another fun thing before we dive in. I always just interrupt. Our flow. We did try a Stitzel Weller that was 50 some years old. Oh yeah, check that video out. Check that video out. I'll try to remember oh. to link that in the description. Yeah. It, was it was pretty just... interesting. The cork wasn't fully. We thought it was sealed. It might have had a little air flow. Something was up with it. Yeah, and we should compare this. <laughs> just kidding. No. All right. All I can say about this is you got a little bit of that crisp. Uh, you know, fruit, apples, pears, that kind of thing. Yeah. Super light on the nose. A little honey. A little bit of honey, honey like honey honeysuckle. Suckle. Yeah. I mean, it's it's it's, it's clean, and good. It's clean. I mean, what do you expect on a nose for a ninety proofer? Right. right. You can't can't be expecting too much. Um, but it's enjoyable. It's definitely enjoyable. A little bit of vanilla I'm getting right now. Yeah. Slight uh, line of vanilla. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty enjoyable on the nose. I mean, nothing too crazy. Nothing bad by any means at all so and sometimes you just need those quick easy go-to's that are, are just smooth right yeah you're not looking for an experience maybe the kids are crying they just went to bed you got a good half hour you just want to sip on something here you are this is matured using the rigorous Sol solera aging method preserving our rarest whiskey stocks in the spirit of stitzel weller who else was using solera we did a video like yeah, a few months back i can't remember what company it was but um i think Oh man, I'm gonna end up with with egg in my face here, but I'm <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like you take an older barrel and you distribute that out into younger barrels or vice versa, yep. and then you take that barrel and distribute it out into other barrels. Yep. So it's kind of like you're right. mixing older whiskey with younger whiskey, and then kind older of. whiskey with younger whiskey. It's like the leftovers. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it's it's sort of trying to like take the age and distribute it as and much as you can before that barrel is useless, basically. Yeah. Okay. But I could be totally wrong. Um, Let us know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's dive into this yeah, thing. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Ah. 
I got a, a vanilla bomb right up front. Very vanilla forward. Little peanut shell. Little yeah. Vanilla. A tail tail yeah. end bitterness there. Not a super long finish, which is to be expected. I yeah. Mean, like you know. Hmm. So the viscosity kind of threw me off. It is a little thicker than I thought it was gonna be. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> Isn't it, isn't it kind of syrupy almost? Yeah, a little bit. That's, I mean, a little bit. It's, it's there. It's it's not like, you know, it's not, not the most thick, viscous, but it's but like. It's more than I would have expected yeah. for 90 proof. Um, boy, that, that second sip actually, I, I almost didn't get any tasting much. Right. <laughs> Ooh, that's huh. So, not a lot up front. Beyond that vanilla, I'm having a hard time picking out. There's no citrus, there's no darker flavors, there's no, I don't even get oakiness on this. Obviously it's younger, but. It's, if I took a, a little bit of water and dropped some honey into it and just like stirred it around really quick and then took a, a shot of it. Ancient, ancient, aged. This is basically ancient, ancient, age. It might be the same. It almost tastes the same as ancient, ancient, age. Maybe it's a better nose. Should we, should we grab it? Just try it quick? Just, yeah, I, I kind of like, want like an AB you're saying? Yeah, like. <laughs> You're right. No, and that's and that's funny that you said that. When I smelled it, the very first thing I thought of was this. Yeah, that's so. So let's see. This will make things interesting. A B tasting. Um, I'm trying to remember. This was very honey. You, you said this was honey water in that review. So. Did I? Yeah. Honey water. All right. Might be. Let's see. All right. Oh. There's more going on here. There's there's more. Yeah. yeah. Stutzel Weller has a little more punch punchiness on the now so after going back and forth the Stitzel Weller now um sorry the the blade and bow is much more like orange peel to me there's such an like an orange peel citrus element to it fruity aroma yeah there. yeah very orangey and this is more like butterscotch caramel the uh this tastes like or smells like taste smells like a Werther's yeah, yeah, like a Werther's original. That that is exactly what this is. So no, okay, they are very different. This is why you AB things because at first you might think, "Wow, that that smells and tastes like that," and then when you go back to it, not the same at all. So, all right, I'm gonna try that ancient mm -hmm. honey water. That is honey water. Man. Yeah, it's caramel water. Yeah, even less so than I mean. And there's not even like any life to that. Right, I'm gonna rinse quick here. You know what I'm saying? Like there there is no. There's no life to the no to the ancient ancient age. Let's just we'll move that aside. <laughs> um, they're not in the same category. Dude, the finish is like pretty similar though. Oh yeah, there is no finish. There's a no finish on either. The only difference we have on these is that nose. <laughs> like palettes dude it's pretty close to that i mean it's honey water it's it's, it's okay one's caramel water one's honey water yeah so you'd say you think ancient age is a little more caramel that's what i think okay yep and yep. then this is more honey and this is and blade, blade, blade bow is more honey that's basically uh, the only difference except one is 50 bucks nearly I and the hate, other is okay. like 20 bucks yeah so should we just go to try by tonight let's do it try let's by tonight it. all right <laughs> You go first. I'm gonna one. go first. This is an easy one. <sighs> I I just get super bummed out <laughs> when no. when there's just something, you know, somebody's poured so much money and heart and soul and employees and branding and marketing, and it's just a deny all day long. I <sighs> what we always say, this has a lot to be desired, right? Yeah, plain and simple. I <sighs> always be skeptical of the extra gimmick too, right? And I hate saying that. I'm not trying to trash them that bad, but why is there a key on this? I know there's probably a story on it, right? Keys to something. Uh, does the key have to do something with Colonel Taylor? I don't, you know, I don't know. He was big on keys. I don't, I don't it's know. It's the key to, to the secret recipe for the good bread. Probably, bourbon. yeah. If you know, <laughs> tell us. Bad. We need to do better researching, but life's busy. No, it's the key that they misplaced to the secret recipe for the actual <laughs> good whiskey. You guys are missing this. <laughs> um, no, okay, just really quick. Deny. So we, we do stumble across some 90-ish, 91 proofs that have something going on. This has no spark of life. No. 
The nose is interesting. The nose is like, yeah, after it's, smelling a, yeah. a lesser quality bourbon, you come back to the nose and it's like, oh, it's great. But yep. you also just smelled some, some watery- Some hooch. Some hooch, yeah. yeah. So again, we like higher proofs, so we're not- I mean, you know, no, I, yeah, I'll let you finish. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna say like, yeah. this is honey water. You know, I, yeah. I, I think this would be a great mixer. I hate saying that. But for $46- Yeah, why would you mix it though, right? Yeah. Yeah, spend- well, Ten dollars more and get a Stellum bourbon, or what else? Oh my gosh! Eagle Rare is thirty-five bucks. You can uh, get a Stellum product that's barrel strength. Yeah, for the same price. Um, oh what gosh. else we got? You know, Ancient Age Twelve is just sitting off here in the corner. That's oh, seventeen ninety-two. There's there's Age Twelve but, years. But you cannot, but this is not coming around that often. This is not coming around. I'm saying find that this is fifty-seven dollars. This is. 10, 10, 10 13 bucks more, bucks more like yeah. uh, but you can find this everywhere and yeah. i think that's that's the big thing for it it's so, like the willet pot still so, so you're denying yeah i'm basically yeah. okay go so, ahead I'm no you you took the words out of out of my mouth i'm a deny obviously um i've i've heard people liken this to a blanton's alternative and in my opinion this does not even this does not carry blanton's jockstrap <laughs> no, it doesn't. This can't even <laughs> sniff Blanton's jockstrap. All right, oh. this is this is the water boy on the sideline <laughs> when he's five years old. Okay, and maybe the... maybe in a few years he'll turn into the water boy like we all know him and start tearing Dude. people's heads off on the field. But uh, right now, no, sir. I just want to throw one quick, but not interrupt. The honey thing is getting out of control. People get hints of honey and they go, this is the new underrated Blanton's. And right, it's like, right. Blanton's is known as kind of a honey honey barrel, honey bomb thing. And it's like, you can't compare everything that has a little bit of honey to Blanton's. Yeah. No, and, Sorry, and that's, okay. no, that's okay. I think that's a good point. It's like, as soon as there's like one note in a bourbon and a similar proof, people go, oh, you just buy this instead of Blanton's. And they yep. say that every time and it's just not true. Like, I don't know how you can taste a Blanton's next to this and say that, this is better, I feel like it would be impossible. Yep. Now we should probably do a blind at some point with a Blanton's in there, right? Against some of these that people like to compare. I think that would be a good idea yep. because I mean, I know we wouldn't pick this over Blanton's. Yep. I would have to think we wouldn't pick it, but you never know. So yep. deny, um, I, I don't see a reason for this. Don't go and buy it. It's not worth your money at all, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah I, I, I mean, hopefully in the future they can, they can use some momentum. I mean, this is in every single store in the yeah. large amounts, large quantities. And so, this, you, you, you're rooting for the Stitzel Weller name because of the history, yeah. right? You want it to be And I'm sure they, that, they got some things in the works. Yeah. So let's... We're let's, not hating on the brand, we're hating on this particular bottle. Let's right? hope that they can come out with some with something that, that really can can wow some people. Resonate you know, with like the audience. Come out with a barrel proof product or something like that. Let's see what you got. So yeah, yeah. anyways. All right. Uh, Finish this in a port wine barrel for six years. Yeah, there you go. All right, All right. well, thanks for, thanks for watching. Um, you know, there's gonna be another video show up here in one of these corners. Go ahead and click and watch our other videos. Um, like Ethan said, we did a review of a like 60 year old Stitzel Weller, original Stitzel Weller product. And uh, it's a pretty funny video, go watch that. We had to strain out some cork and stuff. But, um, <laughs> you know, share this video with your friends. Um, we really need the help and appreciate your support uh, just to get the word out that this channel exists and we want people coming here. Drop a comment down below. We replied to all comments, so uh, we'll get back to you and have a nice conversation with you. Um, mm -hmm. We're starting a little community here, and so we just want yep. you to be a part of it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. All for one and one for all. Cheers.